And as luck would have it, we actually have a couple of stories about storage in the rundown this week. And kicking those off is a story about quantum because they've decided to throw their hat into the ring uh, for software storage. Their newest offering is called Myriad, and it's a flashed focused solution for file and object storage. Now, one of the things that I thought was interesting in the release was that they included a research paper and they talked about the fact that traditional software storage products um, are not very good. They just are a little bit faster than the storage they're attached to when you consider traditional rotating media. However, um, the new solution from Quantum kind of re-architects the whole situation because of things like NVMe and RDMA that basically require the software to be very performant. Um, I dug into some of the details. There was a great uh, diagram in the news article that we've linked. Uh, some things that I thought were interesting. Uh, everything is connected with 100 gig Ethernet backbones, which, you know, makes a networking guy like me uh, smile a little bit. Uh, it's connecting all of their NVMe storage nodes, as well as the load balancers that figure out where things need to go and all of the control nodes. Um, Steven, what are your thoughts on Quantum Myriad? Yeah, I got to say that this thing is pretty darn cool. Um, you know, Quantum is one of those companies, I think, that maybe some people think they know because it's been around for a very, very long time through a couple of different storage media. Um, I think a lot of people think of it as a tape company or a hard drive company from back in the day. But as you said, uh, Quantum's got a next generation product here, and I think they should be pretty proud of what they've got. Uh, one thing I'll call attention to is that Myriad was designed by none other than Brian Palowski, also known as VP. I have known BP for a very long time. He was apparently employee number 18 at NetApp, um, which is where I first encountered him. And then he was chief architect at Pure Storage. And now he's been at Quantum for a few years. I, I believe that they probably brought him in to do this, basically, give us a next generation product. This is a very smart person, a very good storage architect, and someone who really knows what he's doing. And anytime you set somebody like that loose with a clean sheet of paper, you're going to get something pretty cool. So far, what we're seeing here looks pretty good. Now, it's obviously too early to judge it. Um, haven't had our hands on it. Haven't even had a, a deep uh, dive, though storage field day would be awesome. Now, um, if, if it is what it looks like, as you said, Tom, it's all based around next generation uh, concepts, next generation technologies, and it really is flash forward in a way that companies like Pure Storage and Bass Data and Store One also are. So frankly, I, I'm really impressed by what they've put together here, and I just can't wait to learn more about it.